Welcome to your Tuesday Space Pod. And Mike, uh, we've been talking a little bit about what you jokingly called Lego satellites. Uh, tell me some more about what's going on with the International Space Station and these things. So yeah, um, at the International Space Station last week, uh, some astronauts uh, linked together some uh, LEGO satellites, uh, or rather some modular satellites, from a company called NovaWorks. And with these, it was a very interesting test, and it might be a very radical new approach to satellite design and manufacturing. So uh, instead of fitting spacecraft components into some sort of spacecraft bus that you know, companies have been doing for decades. NovaWorks invented what they're calling hyper-integrated satlets, or HiSats. Yeah. Um, they're identical seven kilogram modules that have everything that you would need to function, including communications, uh, uh, you know, uh, p being able to point your spacecraft where you need to, uh, power, data processing, and propulsion as well. You can see those little nubs sticking out. Some of them are for connections and some of them have RCS with them. So that's really cool. And what they can do with these is they can put together um, any number of these high sats that they want. They measure 20 by 20 uh, by 10 centimeters, so a little bit bigger than a cube sat, but they snap together just like Legos, and you can put them together in all sorts of different ways. And um, what they did after years of developing this and ground testing, um, plus two years of storage on the International Space Station, this past week on October 25th, astronauts assembled a small satellite by snapping together six of these high sats that also had two deployable solar arrays, which were built by a company called Pumpkin, and they also had an elect electro optical imager that was a NASA sponsored mission called the Satlet Initial Proofs and Lessons, or the acronym for that is SIMPLE. <laughs> so just a simple test. Of course. But um, the astronauts, uh, um, after they put that together on October 25th, they actually launched it on from the ISS on October 27th using NanoRack's Kaber microsatellite deployer, which provided a, a key test of how well these high, fact, these high sats actually function as a single unit. Hmm. Now, DARPA wants to launch 14 of these high sats next year and enable further development of their Phoenix program, which would have you know low cost innovative space technologies, especially looking at having reusable technologies for satellites. And lots of really cool ideas could come from this. I mean, there's the unit itself that they deployed. And so far on the on the, the, the NovaWorks Twitter, they've been reporting that it's been healthy and that things have gone really well with this. So this could be a very cool, very innovative, innovative new way to <laughs> put satellites together and kind of build custom made spacecraft for whatever you want and have a lot of redundancy as well. That's really funny. I love it. Uh, the chat room's actually saying the Borg started this way. Uh, and I'm just wondering if that means we can get spaceship, spaceship, spaceship out of this. Uh, that's just, uh, <laughs> you know, if, if I if I may. <laughs> well, thank you, Mike. Very much so appreciate it. And if you're interested in any of these sorts of things and other spacey things, feel free to subscribe to our channel where you'll get videos like this and so much more. You can also join us live every Saturday at 1800 UTC.